Today, we're grilling up picanha. So if you like Brazilian style barbecue, and you love beef top sirloin, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got about six and a half pounds of beef top sirloin, better known as picanha in Brazil. And if you look here, I've got one, two, three sirloin caps. In a small ramekin, I'm gonna add a spoonful of chopped garlic and add a little bit of olive oil over the top to get marinated. Now I pulled these caps out of the bag and got them cleaned up. And you can see they've got a nice healthy silver skin there that needs to be removed. And if you'd like, some of that fat cap. But I don't feel like it's thick enough to remove anything except maybe the edges. So we're gonna start right here and remove the excess. Just basically shape it up a bit. Here's another strip we'll remove. And it's up to you how much you remove, but it's good to have a nice layer on there that can sear up, protect the meat, give it some good flavor. Now if we get it flipped over here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half with the grain. Cut each one of these in half as well. That'll give us four portions. And that's pretty much what you can count on for each cap, each piece being about two inches thick. By now our olive oil should be marinated, so we'll add that to a bowl and come over the top of it with the garlic as well. And then just rub that in to all sides of that meat. For the seasoning, I'm going to hit it with kosher salt and pepper, again on all sides of the meat. Brazilians usually just use rock salt. But I'm going to take two of the small portions and hit them with blackened seasoning. Now if you didn't know, picanha is usually cooked rotisserie style. I have a rotisserie, I have an oven, but we're going to do them on the grill today. And I'm going to skew each portion in a C shape. This will allow them to flip back and forth easier and cook more like one full steak. And even though my skewers are flat to prevent spinning, you do usually need to stick it with a second skewer on the outside. Again, it just makes it easier to handle and flip back and forth. And once it looks something like that, you can do the same thing to the other one. Now out on my grill, I've got some of the worst circumstances. I've got it hotter in the front area right now, and the back right corner has a lot of grease dropped down from briskets I've been slow cooking. So in this video I'm going to prove that you can get great results from an untuned grill. As soon as they're on, you drop the lid. I'm going to set my timer here. We're looking at about 20 minutes till we're done. Now even though I thought I had all my burners set on low, I still got to pay careful attention for those fire flare-ups from the grease down underneath. The important thing is to keep the lid down every time in between. And after about five minutes, you can finally flip over to the other side. If you look closely, you can see we're getting some good color. And now we'll just cook for another five minutes, again with the lid down. Now this is when I noticed that my front burner was accidentally left on high. But we need to sear the fat, so we're going to leave it up on its side here. Take the back piece, move it to the front here, because it's bigger, kind of balance out the cooking. And it's true what they say about flipping your steak. You want to keep it at a minimum. And after 15 minutes of cooking here, you can see we've got a nice sear on the fat cap. So we're going to flip it around on the points and now set this one up on its fat cap as well. And they tend to fall over, so I'll just balance it against the other skewer. And finally, after 20 minutes of cooking, I've got a full-blown fire break out here with all of that fat rendered for my brisket and my Boston butts that have cooked down into this portion of my grill. But it's okay. This is where I get my reverse sear done. And you can stick a thermometer in there if you want to regulate, make sure that you're not going over your medium rare temps. But I have found that 20 minutes cooked on low is perfect medium rare for any 2 to 3 inch steak. Using the reverse sear method of course. Now my grill is still hot on this side. The important thing now is to just get them out of the fire. 
After this cook, I'm really going to have to clean up my grill. But if you take a look here, you can see using a bad grill, the worst of circumstances, still yields good results if you're paying attention. But don't take my word for it. Let's get them inside and throw them on a cutting board. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now these have rested for about five minutes, so they're ready to cut into. Let's see what we got. Looks like I've reached my goal. Nice and pink. But what about the smaller portions? The black and seasoned meat. Let's take a look here. Oh, come on. Seriously? It doesn't get better than this. This steak is righteous! And there you have it. Picanha top sirloin steak right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.